I love crafting with Dollar Tree houses, don't you? Hey bestie, it's Lisa. Welcome or welcome back. If you want to craft your best life with me, then let's get started right now. For this Dollar Tree house DIY, I got this kind of shorter house. Got these two little pegs I got at Hobby Lobby on sale. They look like little people. And then I've got this kind of 3D decal sticker from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to pull off the top portion of it. I don't really need it to be fully 3D, but I am going to keep that little piece of foam tape on the back and just hot glue it to the very top center of the house. We're going to turn this into a little bit of a coastal kind of a DIY. So I'm going to make one of the little people shorter. So by Basically, that's me and then the taller one is my husband because I want to make these two little people this would be like representing my house so you could do this however you want uh, depending on who's in your house and I'm just gonna hot glue each of the little pegs or old-fashioned clothespins whatever you want to call them into the inside like when you're facing it the left side of the house now I'm gonna take this blue and white twine that I got I believe a Dollar Tree and make a teeny little bow and put it on me so that we know like that is the female and then the other one is the male. I'm going to start off using hot glue. This didn't work out very well, but I'm going to show you. I tried to put these little white rocks from the Dollar Tree down. Anyway, it really wasn't working. It kept drying too fast. So instead, I used my Aliens Tacky Glue and just coated it really well over the whole thing and then just kept putting rocks in there, pressing them down, adding rocks, pressing them down, and then I'd tap the rocks away. If there was a gap, I'd fill it in and so forth. You get the picture. Anyway, now I'm going to attach this beautiful seashell from the Dollar Tree and a couple pieces of greenery. These came off of a eucalyptus uh, pick that I got on Amazon, but you could get things like this at Dollar Tree, Walmart, wherever they sell, you know, faux greenery. I think it looks so cute. I'm really loving how this one turned out. You have to let me know what you think. I feel like it was so easy and yet it's got the coastal vibe, but it's still homey and I just think it's adorable. Hope you like it too. For this Dollar Tree house hack, I've got this cute little house that I think is really meant to hold a picture in that little metal swirly thing. And then I've got this white vase. I, I think I got that at the Target dollar spot. I'm going to make it look like wood grain by using my Antique Wax by Waverly, using a sponge, foam sponge to put it on and go all in one direction. Then with a paintbrush, I'm just going to match that look going all the way around the wood edges of the roof of the house. Now, I'm not going to wipe this off like I usually do if I'm using it as a stain. I'm just going to treat it as though it was just paint right on there. So I finished the whole roof. I also did the door on the house. And I'm going to use some fix-all, a combination of fix-all adhesive and hot glue. I'm going to put that house right on top of that vase, like right in the center. And it did take a couple tries just to get it placed exactly where I wanted it. But I did it, and I waited, and I just let it sit there for quite a while. Once this was really on there good, I cut off some more of these little picks from Amazon and I'm just going to stick them in the, what's remaining of the hole of the vase on the front and the back. And I thought that just added such a cute touch. This was very easy. I did decide to add a little piece of the greenery on the top part of the house as well. I just felt like it needed something on it, you know, kind of to balance it. And I'm really glad I did. Of course, you know, this is just for inspiration as are all of my crafts. You never have to do it the way I do it. And if you don't like the way I do it, that's okay. That's where your creativity comes in. And I want you to do what you want. And I love all your ideas that you share. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It looks really cute up in my house. And you can still add a picture if you want. For this Dollar Tree house hack, I've got the taller of the houses. And I just love these houses. They're like little shadow boxes. I've got these four round beads, which I did not end up using after all on this one. And then I've got this wooden cross from the crafter square section and some beautiful scrapbook paper that I found at Hobby Lobby. This is kind of a coastal mix. So I'm gonna trace the shape of the house on the back of the scrapbook paper. That way you won't ever see the pencil even if I cut in such a way that it's left behind. And anyway, this is gonna be too big because of the little rim around the edging of that shadow box. So I'm gonna try to draw a line on the inside a little bit and see if I can make this closer to a fit. 
Of course, I'm going to have to tweak it. It just never fails, but that's okay. You just do it until you get it to the shape you want. I'm going to paint the Mod Podge on the inside. I'm going to start just at the top and get the top of that piece of scrapbook paper adhered. Then I will slowly go all the way down and finish the rest. I like to get part of it adhered first. It just makes it easier to hold it in place. And so there I am just finishing it. I actually feel like I did do a pretty decent job of getting the size on this one, but just to cover up any possible issues, I added a piece of twine around the inside edges, which you will see here in just a moment. First, I'm gonna cover the whole paper with the Mod Podge. I do like to seal that in whenever possible. Isn't that a gorgeous print? I love their scrapbook paper. And now I'm going to take the hot glue and I'm just going to get this rope and put it in there, twine. I believe I got this particular one at Walmart. They had a really good deal. They often have the best deal that I found on like rope and twine. So if you're at Walmart, you might want to check that out. I'm just going to cut it off once I get the whole thing lined and that completely gives it more of a coastal look and it covers up any flaws in how I cut out that piece of scrapbook paper. Now I'm going to take the cross and I'm going to cover it with some burlap. I believe I did get the burlap from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to trim off the edges of the burlap and try to get a, a piece that's pretty close to the size of what I want on there. Then I'll hot glue that down. I'm going to cut another piece and do the horizontal piece of the cross the same exact way. Now you see there's excess left there. I didn't get an exact cut. I could have been more precise. I'm just going to take my scissors and go around the edges and then I'll take a blade and cut off any of the excess. I don't mind if there's like a little bit of kind of the edges of the burlap hanging over. I think that really adds to the coastal kind of rustic look that I'm going for. Just be careful with your blades. Now I'm going to take this cross and I'm just going to hot glue it directly into the house. I'm going to use a generous amount of hot glue because I want to make sure it stays, but you can use any kind of glue that you want. I'm going to take some of the eucalyptus greenery that I got from Amazon. I'm just going to cut off some little pieces and hot glue it into the bottom of this house. I'm loving this look. I think this is beautiful. All of the coastal pieces that I make will go in my bedroom or I'll give them away if I don't have a place for them. I just love doing this kind of thing. I love the coastal look. It's so pretty. And to me, it's very peaceful. What is your favorite look? Like what makes you feel the happiest, the most peaceful? You know, and a lot of times it's where you want to go on a vacation. So of course I love the beach. So that's going to make me feel happy. Anyway, I love how it turned out. You'll have to let me know what you think. For this Dollar Tree house hack, I got the taller house and then I've got this chicken wire frame that was left over from a piece from Dollar General. I've got some lemons and lemon slices that I picked up at various places. And then I've also got some eucalyptus, eucalyptus picks and four beads that I got from Amazon that I'm going to use as feet. I'm going to paint this with this off-white paint that I have. You can use any off-white paint you want. I'm going to go very carefully because I don't want to tape the inside. And this is going to take me two coats to get the entire thing painted on the inside only. Now that that's done, I'm going to take my Maze Waverly Color chalk paint. I'm just going to paint that very top edge around the whole house. And then off camera, I will do the back side as well. I'm going to remove that tag using my heat tool. That really helps to remove those little tags that are on there with kind of the sticky stuff. And then, I'll, like I said, I'll paint the back with the maize color as well. Next, I'm going to take these lemons and I'm going to use three of them. Odd numbers are usually the best in decor pieces, unless you're going for a very symmetrical look, of course. And I'm put a lot of hot glue and they are going to stay on there really well. They're not super heavy. And I'm going to take these lemon slices and kind of position them above that. I thought this would look so cute in a kitchen. My mom likes lemons for decor in the kitchen, so I'm going to give this one to her. 
I'm going to add those little picks from the eucalyptus plant and I'm just going to stick them in there just to kind of give a little bit of greenery. I love greenery. Just, I don't know, makes everything feel fresh and I tend to kill plants. So when I use the faux ones, that's good. I can't kill those. <laughs> I'm going to take the four little beads and I'm going to hot glue them to the bottom as legs just to give it a little bit of a different look. I love the way that looks. I decided not to paint them. Felt like there was enough yellow there already. Well, let me know what you think. How would you have done it? Would you have done the whole house white? Would you have added the yellow? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. Ready for more inspiration? Here's another video I think you'll really like. If you click on it, I will see you there. You are truly a blessing to me. Bye.